All right, guys, what the hell is going on? I was just about to go to sleep. I'm a night owl. I stay awake all night. You know, they go to sleep at the crack of dawn. And then this drops on my laptop when I'm like three minutes away from passing the hell out. Two new legendary champions, one of which is completely free in the form of Skeletor and He-Man. What the hell is this, dude? Okay, so, first of all, man, the login rewards to get your hands on Skeletor. All you've got to do is log into Raid for the next seven days. And then, of course, you're going to get to move on to phase two of the event. Uh, just win battles, play arenas, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. To get your hands on the five-star perfect soul for Skeletor. And to get your hands on He-Man, it is going to be a battle pass style system. The champion pass in which... Ooh, I've got myself a free chicken. Very, very lovely which I can't click on for some reason. Oh, there it is. Uh, and to get your hands on He-Man, it is going to be a paid elite version uh, of the Battle Pass, which is going to set you back a fair penny if you do want to get your hands on He-Man. But even if you don't, and before we get into breaking down these champions, there is so much, this is so much free stuff that you can grab here anyway in the Champion Pass. Uh, if you're sticking to a completely free-to-play account or whatever, then there's still so much free stuff that you can uh, get here, including a feast as well at the end of these Champion Pass rewards so oh my god let's talk about it man we're just we're just doing this live man reacting to this one live let's see what skeletor's kit is all about shall we if you're going into the skeletor chase he looks absolutely as awesome as i would expect him to look oh my god dude this is taking me back to those saturday morning saturday morning uh as a you know in childhood and all that stuff you know eating your goddamn cocoa pops Feels good, man. So let's actually check out this kit, dude. Uh, he's got a double hitter on the A01. Great. Each hit has a chance of increasing the duration of a random debuff on the target by 110. Honestly, not bad for beginner players in particular. Things like if you're starting out with Kale, you go into Demon Lord Clan Boss. This kind of A01 is just fine to have uh, in scenarios like that. Just synergizes pretty well with those Kale openers. Uh, on A2, it's an attack one enemy. 510 cooldown unbooked with a 100% chance booked of placing a petrification debuff on the target for 110. Interesting. If the target is a boss, place a decrease attack debuff and a decrease speed debuff for two turns instead. Very, very good. Uh, honestly, love these skills. They kind of adapt based on whether or not they're against like an enemy champion or a minion or a boss. Uh, great stuff. Whenever a petrification debuff is removed or expires on an enemy, has a chance to place a decrease speed debuff on that enemy for one turn as well. Okay, so just a nice to have, man. Cool. Lots of quality of life features in that A2. The A3 is a place, uh, place increased accuracy buff on all allies for two turns. Also has a 100% chance booked to steal any block debuffs, buffs, and one other random buff or from each enemy. Okay, so this is a mass steal. This is a huge steal. It's actually very, very good. Then decrease all enemies 10 meters by 15%. If an enemy is from the Tolarian League, decrease that enemy's 10 meter by 30% instead. Okay. <laughs> so if the enemy is He-Man, basically, right? Now, if you ascend up your Skeletor, you get your hands on his passive. Whenever this champion attempts to place a debuff, steal a debuff or decrease an enemy's 10 meter uh, or increase the duration of a debuff on, on an enemy. So basically to do anything, uh, increase this champion's accuracy by 20 for each buff on that enemy. Okay, cool. Whenever this champion is hit, has a 40% chance to place a decrease resistance debuff on the attacker for one turn. Okay, the chance increases to 75% against He-Man. <laughs> okay, lovely, man. Honestly, pretty good. I can respect the hell out of Skeletor. Not bad, man. I give a lot of hate to Loki, you know, the last sort of like free login reward uh, champion. But Skeletor he feels a notch above Loki, for me at least. Then again, Loki has an attack all enemies on his air one. Oh, God. Why, am I, am I actually favoring Skeletor over Loki just because it's Skeletor, man? <laughs> I can't help but put some respect on him. Anyway, man, if you haven't already used good old promo code Gamely, which is above my head right now, by the way, make sure you go ahead and get it used. It's going to give you a free energy refill, uh, 10 free experience brews, and of course, uh, 100,000 silver. Just a happy little promo code to help get you through the uh, upcoming, or I guess at this time, present uh, stock fusion. It's going to be great. Okay, man, let's go ahead and check on what He-Man is all about. There he is in all of his glory. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god, dude, look at the sword. What's He-Man's sword called again? It's not Sword of Omens, is it? Is that Thundercats? Oh god. I'm, I'm, I'm showing my age, man. Even I'm forgetting all my childhood cartoons at this point. Okay, man, let's check out his kit though real quick. So the A1 is attack one enemy, plays an extra hit <laughs> on enemies from the corrupted. Okay, man, lovely. Also fills his champion's 10 meter by 10%. Fills that 10 meter by an additional 2% for each buff on this champion. Okay, man, so even if you just got like a few buffs, like 15% 10 meter fill, 16% 10 meter fill rather. Not bad, pretty good. Uh, he's also an attack-based champion, but this A1 damage is based on attack and HP. 
Let's see if that's actually a theme uh, throughout his kit. His A2 is an attack one enemy before attacking, place an increased attack buff on this champ for two turns. Will ignore stone skin buffs. If this attack kills an enemy, fills the 10 meter of all allies by 30%. Okay. Very, very intrigued to know what the modifiers are on this. Is it actually going to be useful for smacking people down uh, with stone skin buffs in PvP? Um, the fact that it's only bookable down to a four turn cooldown leads me to believe that the damage modifiers on this are probably going to be quite good. And once again, the damage is based on attack and HP, which is quite interesting. Uh, and on the A3, attack all enemies, damage inflicted by the skill increases by 10% for each buff placed on this champion before this skill is used. Stacks up to 500 percent where what oh okay so you could like hypothetically not use this skill for like three or four turns meanwhile you've got a few supports just constantly spamming buffs and then you just unleash like an atomic bomb of an a3 on all enemies <laughs> stacking up to, like 440 percent damage or something you know interesting i wonder how much uh applicability this is actually gonna have what use cases this is going to have. I'm sure smarter people uh, than me will figure it out. And if you ascend up your He-Man, his passive increases champion's attack and HP by 5% for each, deep, uh, each buff placed on this champion. Stacks up to 50%. Wow, dude. Okay. Place a strength buff on this champion for two turns at the start of each round. Also, of course, he's got strength and he's He-Man for Christ's sake. Also place a strength and buff on this champion for two turns whenever an enemy's HP drops below 50% after this champion's attack. And his aura is actually ally speed in arena battles by 28%. So pretty goddamn powerful aura. Cool, 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 cool. I actually didn't check out uh, Skeletor's aura and now I feel terrible for missing that. Okay, it's actually accuracy in all battles by 60. So again, a little bit comparable to Loki uh, with that all battles accuracy. Now let's actually check out the premium rewards that you get if you were to go ahead and... Uh, by the elite pass elite pass in all levels feels like a bit of a waste of time can you just like play the game and be active in the game and you just get them for free you know what i'm saying i don't know man but the elite pass it's still pretty costly on its own man so what kind of supplies are you actually getting here whole lot of uh mythical instinct gear by the looks okay six pieces in total of uh mythical instinct uh, instinct gear it's actually quite hard to put a price tag on those to be honest but i tell you what man everything else i'm gonna go ahead and punch into the hell hades pack calculator and just like see what the chickens and the potions and the brews and all of this stuff comes out at all right so and if my calculations are correct the vast vast majority of the value really from the premium track is just going to be basically buying he-man uh, and depending on how much value you feel like he has as a champion that's gonna be variable as hell to be honest um in total it is two five-star chickens 500,000 silver, uh, eight superior, I guess, uh, ascend potions, the six pieces of mythical uh, instinct gear, 15 experience brews, and then a whole bunch of uh, glyphs, including attack glyph, a little bit of defense uh, glyph, all six star glyphs, which is pretty good. Uh, six star speed glyphs all up and over here as well. Not really sure how to value those, but all in all, pretty solid stuff. And just to check on the challenges real quick, in order to end progress along this rewards track, it looks like you're going to be getting three uh, challenges per day, 24 hour cooldown, I guess, on these. They've just gone live right now, so a little bit of an unrepresentative time limit on these, but use silver, use energy, log into the game. I'm not sure how much ch more challenging these challenges are going to get, but they seem pretty goddamn simple to do. Are you guys going to be buying the Elite Pass to get your hands on He-Man? Does he feel worth it to you? Uh, let me know down below, man. And oh my god, there is also a Prism Shard event as well. Apparently, with what? Headline champion? Who's this? Oh, it's Volcanos. Okay. Volcanos, the faction unity. Uh, Demon spawn champ as well. So there's a whole summon pool here uh, to check out too. Some Helicanth action, some Prince Kaima action. Okay, dude. Pretty goddamn solid selection. Never heard of this guy in my life. Some Cthulhu action going on. Uh, all up and over here, but pretty damn good looking summon pool, to be fair. That said, after my absolutely horrific uh, look in the last prism pulling session, I think I'm just going to take a little bit of vacation from Prism Shards for a little while, frankly. But all right, guys, that is the news. What do you think of Skeletor? What do you think of He-Man? Let me know down below, man. Hey, while you're down there, if you're going to start off a new Raid Shadow Legends account, remember that my beginner promo link is just the best possible way to get it done, man. Four free epic champions. Absolutely incredible offer. And now you also get Skeletor at the same time, I guess. <laughs> it's like a free login reward champion if you also use this. i got to make an updated video, man, on the best possible way to start a new Raid account for like the month of December and stuff, I guess. Either way, man. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you also did enjoy it. And we're going to catch all of you guys just a tad bit later, man.